You just clicked on odd one out. Big mistake. Over the next three weeks, you'll be trying to figure out who is the odd one out. After last week, we now have five suspects. If you haven't seen episode one, go watch it carefully to make your judgments and vote who you're suspicious of and leave a comment as to why. So last week, the poll in the description that you guys voted on got over 10,000 votes and you guys voted off Alex. It was so close between Lexi and Kate, literally within like 100 votes. So we're gonna have to wait three more weeks to see if you're right. But pay close attention today because you're gonna be voting off another person in the community version of this game. At this point, I don't think there's a general consensus among you guys. Jamie Oliver but hotter says Kate and Dragon Teeny has three suspects. So at this point, I don't know what to think. Yesterday was tough. So the group voted off Allie. Zach was super suspicious because she's well-spoken and they said that she sounded super scripted. Hope they don't vote me off next. I'm literally reading from a script right now. That was literally a line. I have no idea if she's the odd one out or not. So this morning I brought in the world's best private investigator. That was a lie, I'm sorry. It's just my friend Mike who makes really good coffee and looks like he shops at Bass Pro, so I'm hoping he can scare the imposter. <laughs> so, um. Hey Mike. Hey Ryan. Can I get a Hoya? Hoya! <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's, it's a thing. It's the morning of day two. Odd one out kids over there. They're sleeping still. We've got coffee this morning. We've got coffee hour with none other than Mike McKim. So Mike is with Cuvée Coffee, founded Cuvée Coffee. You're not just with them, you are. I am with them and I am them. Gotcha. There are five people in that house right now that you don't know any of them. Neither do I. Okay. One of them is totally lying about their identity. Like they'll walk in, they'll shake your hand and they'll say their name and one of them is literally lying. I would love for you to just question these people <laughs> and I want to know like who you think the imposter is. Okay. Like just gauging, like first impression because you're going to be back here tomorrow and the next day. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to weed out the weasel. I'm excited to see your first impression. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring the truth serum coffee. Why did we not think of yeah. this? Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you guys like coffee, just grab a seat. All right guys, this is Mike, he's a private investigator. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a coffee guy. I'm a coffee guy. How's everybody doing this morning? Great. Yeah? So there's a little bit of coffee left in there if somebody wants to take a hit. What is it called? This? This is a Chemex. This is actually the only coffee brewing device that's in the Smithsonian. I love the Chemex because the, the filters are real thick, so you don't get a lot of sediment in the coffee, kind of like you do with a French press. But number two, the, the beaker is glass, so it doesn't have a whole lot of thermal retention. The closer something is to your body temperature, the more flavor you can taste. So is everybody single, or do you have significant others? Married. You're married? Mm -hmm. How long? I'm married almost a year now, All 11 right. months. Congratulations, yeah. Thank man. You. Thank you. Kids? No, no, no kids yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Everybody else single? Uh, I, I got a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. Mike, can I pull you aside? Yeah. Said yeah, yeah. Okay, so last night, the girl in the middle, Lexi, basically backstabbed one of the other girls and she got voted off. So I'd love for you to ask her about Allie, ask her about loyalty, ask her about just like... I can do that, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're easy, getting me easy, into, easy, but... Easy, easy. So what? One, two, three, four. I thought there were six people. Isn't there an Allie? Wow, that seems a little... <laughs> rough. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Someone got voted off the island. What happened? The island, he called it the island. It sounds like an island. We just have to say the island. You have to. What was the final decision that had you vote Allie off? Just the majority just voted her off, I guess. This would be fun. You guys should give your brief introduction to Mike, and I think you should say who you think is BSing. <laughs> That's oh, good. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so I'm Preston. I'm from Austin, Texas. I currently live here. I grew up here my whole life and I am doing uh, custom shoes as a side hustle. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I, he, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Zach Levitt. I'm 21 years old and I live in Los Angeles. I'm Lexi. I'm a sophomore at a and Texas A&M right now. Okay. Uh, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm 25. I'm originally from Santa Rosa, but like I said, I moved to Round Rock. I am an electrical contractor. I can't remember what else I said in my intro though. <laughs> so I do, I do electrical work and... Residential or commercial? Uh, we do both, but primarily residential. Okay, my name's Kate Pybus. I live in Amarillo, Texas. I'm a freshman in college and I'm majoring in graphic design. So? Oh, hmm. he's thinking. Oh boy, that's really tough. 
They could have voted out the fake. I don't think Allie's the fake. That's my thing. I don't think she was the fake. That's it. So I would say if you put a gun to my head and made me pick somebody, it would be... Oh. Alex. Oh. Alex, okay. Yeah, brutal. All right, we'll keep that in our back pocket. I hate this coffee. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back tomorrow morning and the morning after as well. So we'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to see the group kind of whittle down to three. Right. Can you tell me why you think it was Alex? Like, I, I also don't know who it is. Potentially, Allie was the imposter, the person that you haven't met who was yeah. voted off. Yep. So like, what are your thoughts on Alex? What do you think? When he was talking about being an electrical contractor, I don't know, it was something that he said that didn't seem 100% authentic to me. And okay. then when I looked at his hands, his hands are pretty soft and, you know, and oh. for somebody who's like pulling conduit and electrical wire and stuff like that, I expect their hands to be a little rougher. Dang, oh my gosh. See, I never even thought about that. That's so crazy. Yeah. You're like the wise man coming in and like <laughs> whole new perspective being shed on me right now. <laughs> I will say that I think Alex has a lot of these people on his side right now. Mm. And I can't, that was my first impression too. I thought it was Alex. I'm gonna ask about his hands today. All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow, Mike. We're gonna go do two, two truths and a lie. Have fun. You can leave. Thanks, man. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. See ya. <laughs> Are we waiting on someone? Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today we had a mini game that was all about deception. Each contestant told the group two truths and one lie. It was super chill and there was $200 on the line and Lexi ended up winning. Kind of sus if you ask me. All right, Logan, I'll take the camera. Thank you. Guys, next up we have the group meal. Yay! <laughs> group meal number two. Welcome. Congrats on making it. Thank you. We've got generic chicken sandwich, generic french fry, generic fruit. Someone please sponsor us. <laughs> no, seriously. Day two, how are we feeling? I'm slowly getting, not over what happened last night, but I'm feeling that. Healing. Yeah, healing, right. You had immunity last night, not tonight. No. Yet. Yet. I wonder what the reward is gonna be today. Right. Is it immunity again? Cause that, that would be, be nice. Crazy. That'd be really nice. <laughs> if I just say one person it favors, Ironically enough, it's a Preston. Oh. Let's go. It's a bodybuilding competition. <laughs> Can we do like a like a show of hands? Who thinks the mole's still here? Wow. Why did we vote Ali off, dude? Oh. The whole table thinks the mole's still here. Can we all apologize? <laughs> Yo, bring her back. I'm interested to see how the, like alliances form because after this, we're just gonna let you guys go strategize. And it's an odd number of people. We're not like three and three anymore. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe we should all ally together. We should have just one giant group meeting. <laughs> we're gonna vote Ryan out tonight. <laughs> yeah. I have to leave. <laughs> Something we haven't really touched on yet. What would you guys do if you won? Like, what is what does money mean to you right now in this season of life? Right now, for me, it would go straight into savings because me and my wife are looking at houses and we need money for down payment and closing costs and everything, so. You know, I actually don't even know, because I don't know really what happens in my life, but no, no, I actually, I actually would probably throw it into different projects I'm working on because I just, I'm working on a lot of random things, and so probably just disperse it into what I'm doing and just try and amplify what I'm doing. You need van, van upgrades or? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a lift kit, you know, the big tires, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Alex? Uh, probably go get a car because I'm using my sisters right now mm -hmm. to get around, which is not the best, sharing a car with someone. Buy it cash, mm -hmm. that'd be nice. That's a good feeling. Okay, I don't know if y'all saw my phone, but it's a little cracked. So I would get a new phone because I edit most of my graphics on there. So I'm trying to start like a savings plan, become more mm, adult-like. Okay. Mine is um, if I get into nursing school, tuition like doubles. So definitely towards tuition. So based on all of that, who do you guys think deserves the money the most. I gotta go with Seabass. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's noble. Down payment, house, wedding present. I think partially for me, it's like the Aggie bias. But see, I have a lot of student debt, so it'd be nice to see someone not have to have the same thing. I was gonna say Lexi too, like, you just, yeah, like tuition, man, that's a bummer. I was gonna say Preston, so. Cool thing is, two people are gonna win, potentially. And that leads us into our next challenge. Who's ready to spin things up? Woo! Can I get a Hoya? Hoya! Challenge number two, Smoothie Criminal. It's the best name we could think. I literally can't think of a better name for this challenge. I'm sorry. The contestants are going to create gross smoothies, like so. They'll each be drinking a random smoothie, and first to finish will win immunity, and the top two finishers will get a nice reward that should help the group determine who is the paid actor lying about their identity. Oh, God. Challenge time. Here they come. 
What's up, guys? Single file line again. Come on down. Straight to the kitchen island. Oh, <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh, no. I love all these ingredients. I see blenders. I'm going to tell you guys what we're doing, all right? Actually, you know what? All I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you this. You're making a gross smoothie for someone else. Ooh. That's all I'm going to tell you for now. So make your smoothie. Yes. All right, here we go. I'm just going to make it something nasty. How do we? Oh. Ooh, this looks kind of good. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. Oh. Everyone take Sorry. a look. You guys are drinking a smoothie, and whoever finishes their smoothie first or drinks the most wins. And there's actually another reward on top of that. Just like yesterday, very special, very special. You're not gonna be drinking your own smoothie. Most likely. Underneath each of your blenders is a number, and you guys are gonna be drawing a number to see what smoothie you're drinking. <laughs> All right, so I mean, I think Preston, you won the last challenge. I think you should be able to draw first. What do you got? Five. Okay, who's got five? I'm five. There you go. I don't feel bad about that one. All right, Kate, you're next. One. That's me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I did it to myself! Oh no! In what world? I'm just glad I didn't end up with one. Three! That's me. So oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> did you see his? Well, he, he, didn't, he didn't really use yeah. that many olives, so that's okay. all I was worried about. I was like, if somebody uses olives, that's gonna suck. Oh, Two. That that's me. No. Yes! That means Lexi gets Zach's smoothie. Let's, uh, let's all go to the pool. Announcement, the winner of this only gains immunity if you finish the smoothie. Really? Wow. However, you still get first place if you drink the most. Yeah. Just something to keep in mind, all right? Take the caps off. No cap. Facts. Are we all feeling okay? I mean, no. Are we feeling ready? Very ill. Okay, good. Three. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Two. Oh, no. One. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's not even moving. <laughs> oh, it's so awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. The aftertaste is like vomit. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's taking huge gulps. Yeah, y'all got it. I'm getting used to the taste. Dude, Zach, you can't let Preston win again. Oh my god, go! Go! Oh no! Oh no! It's neck and neck right now. It's neck and neck. I'm chewing. He's chewing right now. Is Zach gonna win? Oh, is Zach gonna win? Dude, no way. No way. He's almost done. Zach just finished it! Zach just finished the smoothie. That was good. What? Are you in? You threw up. What do you mean? <laughs> then I ate it. Then I ate it back. I didn't even drip any. I ate it. You definitely got second place. Yeah. But Zach gained immunity for tonight, which means you're moving on to the next day. This is the best moment of the entire series. Let's be honest. Oh my gosh. I thought, oh my gosh. Banana drip. Oh my gosh. Banana wow. drip. Yo. Oh my gosh. Yo. The banana drip. That's insane. Congratulations. Thank you. And also we have another reward. Wow. First and second place both get five minute interrogations in private with anyone of their choice. Ooh. Wow. All right, all right, all right, all right. Woo. Okay, so Zach won. And I'm literally going to make him a golden smoothie. Gold flake! <gasps> that was like $800. Logan, no. These gold flakes were like $30 on Amazon. Don't gas me up. He's poolside, he's chilling, so we're gonna go make him a golden smoothie and just like celebrate a little bit before his interrogation. Dude, I might make myself one low key. <laughs> <laughs> Zach! Chilling poolside. How do we feel about a golden smoothie? Gold? Gold flakes right here. Wow, Alex has been talking to me on the side a little bit and I feel like he could be trustworthy. So I feel like if I can have a meeting here, we can maybe talk something towards the end. And like we've been strategizing together through it all. So I feel like it's gonna be a potential moment to plant a little seed towards the end. You're not even thinking like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely grill this guy. You're just like trying to make some strategy. I feel like he's giving me the least mole vibes. Oh yeah. That looks a lot better. <laughs> that looks a lot tastier, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding oh. me? Are you kidding me right oh. now? That's crazy looking. Yeah! <laughs> the the win! <laughs> the value of the US dollar is plummeting. <laughs> Woo! -wee. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. You're the victor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess next up you're gonna be interrogating Alex. 
Up there? I mean, it sounds like a plan. All right. You might need to take a shower or something. Why? <laughs> okay. So to reiterate, since Zach and Preston finish in the top two, they'll be getting a five minute private investigation with anyone of their choice. First up, Preston selects Lexi, the Aggies. Texas A&M. This should be good. Lexi. Yes. What is your last name? Frazier. Frazier. Yes, with right. a Z. That's it. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> so, A&M. How long were you on campus before Corona? One whole year? A uh, semester and a half. Semester so, yeah. and a half. Almost okay. Almost a whole year. Where'd you live? I lived off campus. Okay. So, what was like your favorite place to eat on campus? Um. Oh, definitely Cabo and the MSC. Yeah. That's still my favorite. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what classes did you take like your first semester? First semester, I took a biology class, a math class. What building was your math class in? Uh, Heldenfelds. Heldenfelds. Yeah. Okay. Man, I just need to know. Aggies in this together? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you because Aggies don't lie, cheat, or steal. <laughs> yes. Nor tolerate those, those who, who do. Those who do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. We're going to stick together. Yeah. I think you and I both have the best causes for the yeah, money. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you know, it's like, I don't, yeah, everyone definitely. has their own reason and everyone, I'm not saying no yeah. one deserves it. But you and your wife, that's like, yeah. I'm like, go to your house. You got <laughs> and it. And then you with tuition, I'm yeah, on yeah. your side because I have so much student debt and it yeah. is awful. So I feel like you and I in this to the end, mm, for do sure. whatever it takes. I'm, I'm yeah. here with you, I promise. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Next, Zach selects, sounds like an NFL draft. <laughs> Next, Zach selects Alex from Santa Rosa. Okay, I'm gonna hammer you with a couple quick questions just to kind of get a baseline here. All right, cool, <laughs> baseline. Yeah. Okay, what's your best friend's name? My best friend's name is Lyndon. What's your girlfriend's name? Like Jessica. Jessica, how yeah. long have you been dating? Uh, we got four years. I said wow. three the other day and corrected it, and she's going to be mad at me. I'm sorry, babe. It's four. <laughs> this, this seems true. This seems true. It's very true. You were talking to Alex over there. What was he saying? He basically was just talking to me about, like, he didn't even ask what I talked to y'all about, which was, like, my first indication of, like, why wouldn't you ask me? You know, but he was talking about, like, what Zach said and, like, that Zach was still like on board with like the boy strong thing. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, oh, should we flip on Zach? And I like forgot that Zach had immunity as he's, you know, but I like, guess, yeah, like, yeah, he forgot too. I guess, yeah, he forgot, but he was like, should we flip on Zach? And I was like, no, 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 let's just stay boy strong. Cause I didn't want to throw a wrench into yeah. anything, you know? Are you the mole? I am not the mole. You said that really confidently. Uh, Cause I'm pretty confident. I, I think I know who it is. Who do you think it is? Can I say, uh, should I say? Okay, I, I think it might be Seabass. How confident are you? I'd say like 80%, 85. I feel pretty confident just in his demeanor change from yesterday, but I also am worried about Lexi because she's been so quiet this entire time. Yeah, she got real quiet today after yes. she like didn't win too. Yeah, we gotta kill the Aggie team. That's, that's what that's I'm happening. worried about. I think okay, today so I one asked of them has Preston to about it. Yes. And I was like, I'm worried about this, like, Aggie. And he's and like, oh, like, no, it's nothing. We barely talk about it. Yeah. They talk about it all the time. I just feel like he's the imposter. Like, because no one else's story is, like, so just generic. Generic. Because, like, he hasn't, like, we've all told stories about, like, just living in, like, where we've, like, said we've lived. And he, like, just, like, nothing. Same facts. Yeah, it's same the same stuff over and over. I like, asked him where he lived in Round Rock because I grew up going to Round Rock back and forth. And he's like, I don't know. How do you not know where you, even if you are a new transplant? At least come up with a name something. or something. Mike, the coffee guy, literally was literally like, picked and him his out. face got his red. His face got really red, yeah. We're doing good, I think we got the numbers. Yeah. yeah. So if we all three vote for Alex and don't mm -hmm. shake on that, Yeah. You for sure. doesn't matter who they vote for. No. And on top of that, Preston is the fastest one to respond to any sus question, which often in a room, like if somebody's the one that responds first, I feel like it's out of insecurity. Yeah. Or out of, you know, a will to persuade. So this this was not an interrogation as much as it was supposed to be. I kind of thought that this could just be a great strategic moment. Yes, so. we still got this. So if you're not the mole. Not the mole. Then if you are the mole, do you shake on splitting it 50-50? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, great. Well, this Absolutely. <laughs> great. This sounds like the safest thing as long as yeah. we make it to the end. Oh yeah, we got this. <laughs> This we go, great. We're, we're getting money either way. And that, do you, wait, hold on. Do you agree I, with yeah, the same I, thing? Oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> all right, cool. All right, we're in. We got this. Well, Woo, all okay, right. Let's see if this plays out now. We Woo. got it, baby. Okay, so we're in the final moments before voting happens. And something I really wanted to do today was take Mike's advice from this morning and absolutely grill Alex. 
but I don't want to just single him out and I kind of have some stuff to ask the other contestants. So I'm just going to go inside and like pull them aside one by one and roast them like some weenies. <laughs> so let's go. Hey, Kate, can I pull you aside? You may. Before we go into voting, I just want to ease some of my concerns, okay? You say you only edit graphics on the phone. Yeah. That's insane. It's weird, I know. Honestly, I don't even think you're the imposter. I just want to pull you aside because like, yeah. I'm, I'm concerned about the idea of like, let's upgrade. Like, I agree, I hope yes. you win so we do start doing graphics on the computer. Yes, I know. I, that, I feel like it'd be a lot easier for me to do. All right, yeah, uh, I just wanted to express my concerns. So. All right, well. All right, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cool. Okay. Anything I should try to roast uh, Lexi about? You know, everyone's bagging on her accent, how thick it is. Boom. Lexi, I'm pulling you aside like the vegetables on my plate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're about to vote. Mm -hmm. I just want to like personally get something on my chest. Yeah. Okay, so um, can you say washer and dryer? Washer and dryer. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Can you say Connecticut? Connecticut. Mm. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played like Among Us? Yes. Uh -huh. hmm. You know what I do when I'm the imposter? What? I stab a lot of backs. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've seen some things behind really? the scenes from you. And I'm, I'm like... No, I know. I'm in like 800 pickles right now. 800 pickles? Like in a pickle, you know, like in a situation. 800 like, of them though. 800. Oh my goodness, that's so many. Not really, but like, sometimes you just have to agree with the person in the moment and then say apologies later, I think. I don't know, I feel so bad. Okay. Because I don't want to tell them the truth and then that's just exposing everything I'm doing, you know? You're not the imposter. You can tell no. me right now. No, you no. You literally tell me. No, yeah. Okay. I'm not the imposter. You're not. Yes. Hey, Cheyenne, what's another word she could say? Just a test. Okay, oh, hold on. wait, you're testing my accent? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, can you say, uh, I like your pickup truck? I like your pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to say. Mama and Daddy said so. <laughs> Mama and Daddy said so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just feel bad at this point. All right, no, we, okay. we can go back inside. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> All right, Preston. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, I fancy you. You know, well, I feel like we've developed a friendship. Yeah. But I just want to get some concerns off my chest okay. right before this last voting, because if you do go home, I just want it all to be like out on the table. Talk a lot about Alpha Elite, Christian Guzman, bodybuilding. Yeah. Do a pose. Do a pose. The one I'm going for right now. Wow. Hmm. There it is. Yeah. Wow. How do I know you didn't just watch a bodybuilding tutorial That's video? That's a variable could have, but you don't fake these muscles. You really don't. You don't that lat spread. Muscles. Yeah, the you lat don't, spread. You can't fake that lat spread. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, okay. Zach, pulling you aside. I'm pulling him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Zach, pulling everyone aside and getting like all my last concerns off my chest. I know it's not you. <laughs> that, so I'm just pulling you aside to create an illusion yeah. of the fact that like I don't know you before. So yeah. we should act like really angry. Oh. They're looking, they're looking. Let's just hug. Oh, wow. Just act natural when yeah. you walk in there. Okay. <laughs> One more person to roast like a weenie. Oh, all right, Alex. Basically pulled everyone aside, but I want to bring something up. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Talk to Mike, coffee guy. Yes. And he said something very intriguing when oh. I talked to him in private. Yeah, I don't like Mike. You don't like Mike. <laughs> I heard you say it. He threw shade at me. He threw shade at you. Yeah. So, you're an electrician. Yeah, uh, no. I'm an electrical contractor. Electrical contractor, yeah. okay. So what kind of work does that involve? So I manage the teams that install all your like electrical works normally after construction, after yeah. build for residential and commercial. So you're a manager? Yes. Have you ever personally installed some of these things? Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, I'm not an electrician. <laughs> okay. No, definitely not. <laughs> okay. Well, dang, never mind. I, I retract my concern. What then, was your concern? I, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, I do have. A little soft hands. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad, but if I were an electrician, that would be sus suspect. <laughs> All right. Well, geez All right. Louise, it's time to vote. All right. Whew. Dang it. All right, guys. It's time to vote. Can I get a Hoya? Hoya? <clears throat> I'll meet you at the fire pit.
All right, guys, this is it. Literally yesterday, we were all very emotional after Ali left, so just think about how much weight your vote holds. Um, think about the person who's gonna be crying when they leave. So we're gonna be starting here again. I'm gonna meet you up there, and we're gonna get this rolling. Best of luck to all of you. Except Zach, because he doesn't need luck. He's literally safe. He's, can we see the banana chain one more time? He got that banana drip. <laughs> Dang, all right, boom. I'm up on the balcony, wow. It's time to vote. This is literally ice cream, by the way, from earlier. So please just don't judge me. It's day two, someone is leaving the island. I know it's not an island, but odd one out so far has literally been so difficult to navigate. I'm exhausted physically, emotionally, mentally, as well as mm, bowel movements. I probably pooped six times a day. I need to get that checked out. First up, we got Preston, and yesterday he had immunity. Today he does not. So I'm excited to see what he does. We've seen that he's had conversations with multiple different groups of people and maybe switches up. Preston! Was that cool? No. I'm not gonna do it again. I need to do it again, but he's already, he's already getting up here. Preston! Preston. There you are. Here's your whiteboard. We've been Thank here you. before. We have. How are you feeling right now? Anything can happen, but you do have some control over that. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you vote. All right. And once again, I'll be observing you. Okay. From right here. <sighs> this is a big deal, this is a big deal. I'm sorry, Alex. I'm sorry. It's just I have the numbers, and I feel like you're a big threat from what I've heard. It's just something that has to be done. Sheesh! Sheesh! <laughs> Do you think Katie's gonna vote for Lexi or Alex? Alex. Whenever you guys were up here with um, Zach and Alex, yeah. We, us three, formed a pretty solid thing okay. there because I found out that Alex was telling the girls that he's voting me out and was trying to get them to vote me out. Dang. So that's where this is coming from partially. Zach, banana man. How's it going? Immunity guy. Feels good. Feels real good. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I do have to say, I understand why uh, Preston Seabass was feeling so good last night. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Yesterday, you're like, yo, we kind of switched up after that immunity. But you're feeling the same way. You're kind of high spirit Yeah, time. but I feel like my personality's still the same. I think we're going to see with Preston where he really lands. Mm. But I think his body language today would seem very... He's sweating pretty hard today. <laughs> it was hot. If you're being yourself, you don't usually sweat that much. I mean, I'm gonna let you vote. Thank you. I'm going. Mm. I think I have it here. Lexi, sorry about this one. It's just part of the plan that we set in place. It never feels good. Kate, Kate, Kate. Wait. Wait, wait. I gotta say, I'm torn right now. Mm -hmm. Like, in, no. in two, in two. <laughs> two pieces. I think I know what I wanna do, though. Oh my god, okay. All right. Wow. Alex, put a surprise face because I'm just, I'm baffled right now. I'm sorry, Alex. I just had to, the story just still isn't sticking with me. I gotta go with my gut and I apologize. Like, we're, we're buddies still. Like, I hope you remember that, so I'm sorry. Man. That's two votes for Alex. One vote for Lexi. That's crazy. Alex is on his way up right now. So I doubt he's gonna vote for himself. Lexi isn't gonna vote for herself. Wait, I'm confused. I'm confused how this is gonna work. I'm very confused right now. Um. Alex, come on, let's go. Let's, go in. let's roll. Oh my gosh, Alex. It's so tense, dude. It's oh, so man. tense, man. Like, I know. you've been like probably the most influential person here. Yeah. I think that you're just like very like Chad, get the money. Uh, I'm working it, but at the same time, I like have no idea how the vote's gonna go. Yeah. I feel like a blind side's like maybe about to come, but at the same time, like I felt comfortable walking into it. Yeah. And now I feel like really uncomfortable. <laughs> with it. So I just have I that effect on people. I just okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. Let's let you vote. All right. Hope he doesn't vote for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright. Had to do it. Guy's strong, hopefully. This is crazy, this is crazy. Hey Lexi, can you stay down there just for a sec? Right there. I'm 
I'm confused as to what's happening right now. Alex, Lexi, you got this and you got two votes. Two votes. The only person left to vote is Lexi. She's not gonna vote for herself. That means that either she votes for Alex and votes him out, out, or she votes for someone else and then it's a tie, but then. <sighs> All right, you're good. good. Did she hear me? Hey, did you hear that? No. What did I say? What did I say? All right, Lexi. That's it, that's all. Study. <sighs> I can't watch. <laughs> I literally can't watch. My vote, I just have to vote for who I think the imposter is. Not any deals I've made or anything, but yes. I hope we can be friends after this. This is nothing personal. Really? <laughs> the results are in. Everyone's vote is casted. There's five of you. There's not a tiebreaker. Someone has been voted off. Obviously we know it isn't Zach. He gained immunity today. Immunity. Okay guys, I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off again. This is so hard. Yesterday was so hard. The person who's been voted as the odd one out and is leaving the island, it's not an island, is. Give me a second. The person who's been voted off is. Alex. Oh. Guy Gang's dead. Hashtag Guy Gang. It's gone. Watch out for those Aggies. See you guys. Alex, your time has come to an end. Yep. I'm really sad. Me too. I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought you were the imposter this whole time. Really? However, oh, right whenever I had that conversation with you, mm -hmm. and I feel like I had that gotcha moment, yep. everything made sense, like everything that you said. Well, that's the thing, like as soon as you say anything that's like a little questionable, everyone's jumping on it, and yeah. I'm doing the same to everyone else. Oh, it's crazy, yeah. it's so crazy. If you had to guess who in this house is most likely going to be the imposter if it's not you well it's not me uh i i really i really think preston okay like it's super super sus that he's like answers to any name his story doesn't really check out yeah i i think i think preston well dang man i'm gonna miss you thank you so much for participating Thanks, i hope you have safe Thanks travels him out. So fun. see ya see ya One more left.